Do you know why a tactical pen is better than a Kubaton? It's not a Kubaton. <laughs> it's, it's essentially you a Kubaton. You stab someone with it? Well, it's essentially a Kubaton. You can, there are Kubatons you can stab people with. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, exactly. You're right. That's not what he meant. But a Kubaton, you know, I made, we made the video about how the Kubaton is trash. Yeah. And, uh... Because it is. Well, do you know what the overwhelming criticism was? What? People said, nah-uh. It's like a hard little object you can stick in somebody, you know? It's to reinforce your empty hand skills. Okay. Which is exactly what we said in the video. Look at that. I'm trying to find something that, like, replicates a human. Everyone keeps saying, get a dead pig. We're not, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Because you know what happened is we were hitting the hard targets with these, we felt less confident in striking. But that's not really, come on, dude. <laughs> Those are actually my favorite pens. What uh, are? Pilot G2s. Pilot G2s are your favorite pens? Mm -hmm. Black pens. You're in luck. The Pilot G2, like, everyone knows these? Two of these take Pilot G2 refills. All right, so we got like kind of like a regular one. Okay. And then we got hold on, relax. And I'm we sorry. got kind of a ooh, like a classier one. Yep. And then look at this big bow honking thing right here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Smoother Pro, who makes these uh, tactical pens. We're gonna be reviewing them, kinda, sorta, the way we review stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> But mostly we're gonna actually show you how to use a tactical pen, like for real, to fight a person. And I guess by extension, like how you would use a Kubaton. <laughs> I'll put links down in the description below so at any time you can go check those out if you wanna pick one of these up. And this, this big one, Jay? Yeah. Do you know what's so cool about this one? Well, it comes with some batteries, so it's got, it's got a flashlight on this. Ooh, oh, that's, you know, that's kinda... So this is the Smoother Pro Tactical G2 in black. You know it's tactical because it's in black. Mm -hmm. And this is probably the lightest one. It uses G2 refills. It's got this little, like, bolt action. They call that bolt action, and it's got a hole in it. I guess you could put a string through it. I don't, I don't know what that's for. But it's got the glass breaker tip for breaking glass only, right? <laughs> no, you can strike with these. Hit it with that one. I think the cantaloupe is going to be harder to, yeah. harder to hurt. Do the up? Oh, like a uh, groin shot. Like a like a upward like an uppercut, yeah. <laughs> Which that brings a that brings a good point. Yeah. People say that I'm I'm too hard on groin shot. What just happens? This, I just want to know. What happens if I just punch this? Nate, do you want to come punch this melon? Just um just like punch, punch it. it. Off your hand. Yeah, just punch it. Like and it's see soft, so. Punch it. Just punch it like a right hook. Just go up. Right, Don't yeah. hit my hand. Come on! I was getting ready. I was getting ready to move. I was just getting ready. Oh, you did that on purpose. That's, like That's an evil ass laugh. As soon as I was gonna move. <laughs> 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 it's on my head too. So, uh, oh, where was it? Oh, groin strikes. Because I don't think they're the fight enders that people think they are. But if um. Big Nate over here comes over and grabs me and like like a snap down, like you snap me down and I start having trouble. If I start punching at his nuts, I might get one and then he's gonna move to a dress. You know, he's gonna, yeah, circle. But if that strike is reinforced by that right there, you snatch me down, right? And I go, boom! <laughs> and get him in his melons. My main thing about tactical pens that I, why I am not as opposed to them as I am to other Oogie stuff is you need, you might need a pen anyway. Yeah. Like if you carry a pen, why wouldn't you want one that you could, and it, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, killing ninjas with it. It could be like Jimmy and your way into a door or, you know, using it to open a box and not bending it and tearing it up. Mm -hmm. Now, hitting someone's hand out of the air as they punch or reach for you <laughs> is, is one way to do it. it. You have to be good at pairing. I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good at pairing. If Jay gives me a punch, all right. Boom, 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 bang, bang. If you can do that, you just do the, your same stuff that you would do, but with a pen in your hand. But you can just work the thing, and we've covered, we, I touched on this before, I was trying to figure it out, but I finally figured it out in like, I would say pressure testing or a form of sparring. If you just weave it in the air, mm -hmm. right? You're not gonna reach in here. 
No. Right? Especially if I get you one time with it. Yep. So he's going to push to clinch or like... Yeah. If I'm getting pissed stabbed, off. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm getting stabbed with that. I'm yeah, not, I'm, he's not going to punch more than one time. It's going to be uh, fix, yeah. fixated on the... So what if they push to clinch? This one. I'm keeping this one. Of course. You always get the good stuff. You want the black one? Cliff, Cliff wants that big one. Does he? I don't know what he wants to do with it. This is the Smoother Pro Heavy Duty G2. Also uses the G2 refills. Wait till you feel the heft. That's a heavy pen. That thing is heavy. Yeah. You are not throwing that one at me. Come on. No, dude, I'm not doing that again. I know what people think. People think I could just like stab this into you. And I, I maybe could. What if I go? I want to see what like this type of grip, yeah. right? Yeah, but my thumb went in behind it. Oh, so you could if you jabbed it into a person. Yeah, uh -huh. put your thumb in there with it, and then like open that bad boy up. I don't like attacking hard targets with these, you know, because all you're gonna do it's not heavy enough to do concussive damage. I'm not gonna give him a concussion with it. I'm just gonna cut him, which is not. You wanna try this one? I don't need that. I don't need his blood on me if this is a self defense thing. Yeah, so skull is out. Because I think that's what this represents. Yep. But to the body or face in that raking, yeah. I can do that. No problem. Oh, that one went in. As hard as I would hit you like this, mm -hmm. I you really kind of don't want to swing these like that. Because like weird stuff happens. But little short whoosh, raking type strikes. Yep. Woo! That right there. That's a raking. These are all those jabs. Mm -hmm. That raking style shot. That one right there. That's no problem. And that's no problem for the hand. So he goes to grab. I've already got this in my hand. I go inside position. A punch from here would not do a ton of damage, but just stepping, turning, and ripping this across there. Yep. But I also have to be ready to fight. It's not like, I don't know anything about fighting, but if I go like this, <laughs> he's going to stop. <laughs> no, he's just going to get pissed off. Yeah. We go in and then room right across. I'm not going like this into him. Mm -hmm. I'm just going... Like straight across. If you just do this, if you just move it across here and it hits like that, this hurts and it doesn't hurt your hand at all. Again, someone's, someone's not going to stand there and let you do that over and over and over again. Like, yeah. You're going to hit him once with that. Yeah. Bing. Like, no, I'm Bing. out. Yeah. Ooh. Those are nasty cuts. But what if we are tied up and they have like a good hold of us or we have a good hold of them? We got this big mamma jamma. This is the Smoother Pro Tactical Everyday Carry Edition. <laughs> this is some James Bond stuff right here. Yeah. So it's got like what the like a like a bottle opener and a little hex that. wrench and a little screwdriver and all that. It's got the glass breaker on it. Glass breaker. Mm -hmm. This one, the glass. It's the pen is you get to the pen like this. I was just gonna say, where's the pen? Yeah, you get to the pen like that, okay. and of course a flashlight. Not, is it that bright? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, it's, it's not. It's in the dark, that might not be terrible. It's not quite like... I can see why Cliff wants it now. Yeah. Like bouncing at the door. Right. I think, yeah, I think... And you can... The cool thing about these is you can kind of... Yeah. You can kind of talk to people with it hidden like Concealed this. Concealed like that, yeah. Yeah, no big deal. Or if it's not as obtrusive as if you had like a, a tonfa. Or it's a little less obtrusive. People are going to look at that and just think it's a pen. The flashlight end yeah. is a little flatter. And the glass breaker is on the other end. This one uses different refills, but it comes with two refills. It comes with two batteries. Like it being heavier, I've never had nice pens until we started doing this yeah, stuff. You yeah, know what I mean? Yep. When it's heavier, you write better. Write better? Yeah. No, write gooder. I don't no, know. Better. No, no, better is right. You, you talk gooder, you write no, better. No, gooder is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> but if we are like for real clinched up or I want to stay clinched up, this can basically take what you already know about your clinch or your wrestling or your fighting or whatever and reinforce that. Prime example. The Muay Thai clinch. Jay moves to grab me some kind of way. I'm always going to get inside position because I'm a clinch master. And I go, boom, one hand here. Boom, one hand here. Cinch him in tight. Pull him down. Now, what dumb people that don't know how to fight do is they'll try to drop their head and circle it out. They'll try to do like that. Right? If they do that, yada, 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 they eat the knees. But every once in a while, someone that kind of knows a little bit about fighting, they, he knows he's supposed to pick his head up. Now, if I have a good clinch with my elbows in here and I'm up on the crown of his head, not the back of his neck, 
If I'm up here, it's going to be super hard for him to do that. You Were you drinking last night? Yeah, why? Oh, I was oozing a little bit, right? <laughs> so, but he knows he's supposed to pick his head up. But maybe I want him to drop his head down so I could snatch him into a guillotine or snap, snap him down to the ground. If I add this to my clinch, right? Maybe I was hiding it. Maybe I pulled it out mid-fight or I deployed it. I deployed mid mid exchange, yep. employed post contact. I don't know how these guys, these technical guys talk. Yeah, whatever. right. But he goes to grab me. I get inside position, rake, rake. He'll probably duck his head and try to get in there. I start pulling him down. He wants to pick his head up. Now, if he picks his head up and this is in the back of his head, uh. look, I'm bare. Look, did you watch? Pick your head up, okay? Uh. No, yeah, he's. Listen, I'll try to go slow. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's for science. It's for science. Right? So he wants to pick his head up, right? But I don't want that. If I have this here and he starts picking his head up, watch, back down he goes. And that's just me. I did this. It's hard for me to demonstrate. This is all I was doing to you. This is how hard I was. Here, give me a I was just going like this. Yeah. It's, it's not comfortable. But all of those techniques would work with any of the pens. I just wanted to kind of showcase each one because they're, they're very different. Yeah. This one kind of more like a regular pen. Yeah. This one, I'm going to put this on my desk and I'm going to feel like a big... Yeah. Important person. Like, I'm like, hmm. So he's like, do you have a pen? You're like, why well, I do? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write checks with this. Yeah. You know, you could probably get through some security checkpoints or places where you're not allowed to take weapons. You can take these there. Yeah. Now, is it a end-all solution? No. You still have to know how to fight. They are a force multiplier. The problem is when you multiply something by zero, do you know what it is? Zero? It's still <laughs> zero. I didn't think he would know. I was like, come on. I was, it didn't hurt my hand at all. Oh, that's right in. That big one, what has more? Yeah, that one. And you're using the glass. Oh my goodness. No. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the yeah. That one has the glass breaker in. That's a nice little. Isn't it like easier to write with it? Yeah. Like a plastic like... pen, it like bends. Like I feel like I have to push harder. Yeah. With the plastic pen. And I know, I know, it's like, oh, this is a sponsor video. This is insane. No, like I've never had a heavy pen in my life. This one, this one writes totally different. This um, is, this one's definitely thicker writing. I like. I actually like it better. You like that one? Yep. I'm making Jay write sentences <laughs> as punishment. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Smoother. Turn. Why do you not know how to do this yet? Shout out to our sponsor, Smoother Pro. Links down in the description below to all the pens that you saw in this video. Comment below what you think about the the striking and the clinch techniques in this video. If there's anything that we missed, or if you think it all sucks. <laughs> Do you realize that? Say that sentence again. We're about to stab the shit out of these melons with these tactical pens. This, <laughs> this is why this is why Kristen no longer asked me, hey, so what how was work today? <laughs> like she doesn't ask me. What are you doing? Oh, uh, well we threw a chair at a tree for a while. Like the <laughs> <laughs> softer one or the harder one? This one's softer. Here? Can you <laughs> make it hang lower, dude? Well now you gotta put it up higher. Max, hold this. Pull it, pull it, pull the tree down and pick the bag up. Come on, have you ever done this before? <laughs> How hard is it? It's hard. You want to punch that one? Yeah. Don't punch that. You'll hurt your hand. No. This is like somebody. I, Let's see. I mean, it's not quite as hard as somebody's skull. <laughs> I think my skull is harder. Max doesn't want to wear it again. <laughs>